So for the respiratory goblet squat, what we need is a foam roller or a small ball that will align between our knees. That'll help keep our knees in line with our toes while we put enough pressure into it, just enough to keep it there, not squeezing through that hard, okay? What we also need is a kettlebell and a surface that we can use to elevate our heels. So from here, first thing we need to learn is the starting position. So if we have that ball between our knees or the foam roller, our heels elevated, and we have the goblet in a goblet hold, first thing we need to learn is that stack position. There's two things. First thing is I want to think about pushing my elbows forward. That gives that natural curve back to my upper back. We're not trying to be super straight through here. What we want is the rib cage and the lungs to operate normally. So we get a little bit of this pushing of our elbows forward, which gives that curve back a little bit. Don't push your arm out in front like this. Just a little bit of that posterior curve there. The next thing is the hips. We wanna make sure we have just a little tuck on that pelvis. If you think about it as that pelvis being a bowl, we wanna make sure that there's no water tipping through the front of the bowl or the back of the bowl, but we just wanna tuck it to make sure that that bowl is flat. From here, we can do our rep. The rep is a slow exhale on the way down. As far as is comfortable. From the bottom, we inhale. And then exhale that on the way back up. Again, we wanna make sure we're working on that positioning where we're just getting a slight return of the curve of the upper back and then just a slight posterior tilt to initiate our movement, maintaining a slight inward push of our knees on our ball or our foam roller. And then we wanna make sure we have just enough weight to be challenging with the kettlebell, exhaling on the way down, inhaling at the bottom, and a slow exhale on the way back up. 